Okay, so one person asked me about running Sega CD on the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, and I found a solution how to do it. Now, RetroArch is not going to cut it, so basically when you're in here, you go down to edit. After you add your game, of course, then you go down to edit, and then up here at the top, you see where I have it as Classic Boy? That's what you want it as. By default, I had it on RetroArch Genesis Plus GX. That didn't work. Pico Drive didn't work. I had to choose Classic Boy. So I chose it, and I went to save, it saved it, and then I exited that, and I tried to run it, and it said the core wasn't available. So it will take you to the Google Play Store, where you can download the free version of the program, and that will work fine. So what I did with that is I just installed it, and then I gave it the right, or I allowed it to access the file system after I loaded the program once, and then now the game runs. Of course it starts out in portrait for some reason. I'm figuring it out. Okay, quick note on that. Do force landscape when you're if you're in the retroid pocket so that it doesn't do that. It doesn't flip anything. Force landscape. Okay, so after you have it loaded, now it works. It's not skipping back and forth because well, I just force closed it and I made sure force landscape is on. Um I can just start, it will start. If you press here, you go here. You can go down and just hide overlay and then it gets rid of that. And now the game worked fine. There you go, buddy. Seems to run pretty good. Awesome, there you go.